Hello everyone. This video shows how to use the normal distribution app to find percentiles and probabilities under the normal distribution. Let me go to the rofstat.com website, which is right here. I went to rofstat.com and click on web apps up here or down here. This will bring you to the web apps and then you can scroll down a couple of apps to go to the section that is titled distributions, explore shapes and find probabilities. And one distribution that's featured here is the normal distribution. Click on that app and what you'll see is a plot or graph of the normal distribution showing up. Now let me quickly remind you what the normal distribution is. I'm going to go to a, a page on my textbook which says the normal distribution is a symmetric bell-shaped distribution as you've seen in the app that is characterized by its mean mu, which is expressing the center of the distribution, and the standard deviation sigma, which is expressing the variability of the distribution. Now, one important property of the normal distribution is that the probability of falling within one, two, or three standard deviations of the mean equals 68%, 95%, or 99.7% 99 respectively. So let's explore those features on the app. I'm gonna switch back to the app that we just opened and I'll show you first what the mean and standard deviation imply. If you take the slider for the mean, you will see how the center of the distribution shifts. When I take the mean mu and slide it to the left, then all that's happening is the distribution shifts to the left towards lower numbers. And if I make the mean larger, it shifts to the right. So the mean surely just governs the center of the distribution, where you find the center of the distribution. The standard deviation sigma describes how peaked the distribution is or how spread out values are. If I make the standard deviation smaller, you'll see the distribution will become more peaked. And if I may, so peaked meaning its range of values is smaller. When I make the standard deviation larger, it's spread out over a larger range of values as you see in this demonstration. Now, in this picture, you also see what I meant by falling within one, two, or three standard deviations. If you take the mean mu and go one standard deviation to the left to mu minus sigma, or one standard deviation to the right to mu plus sigma, then this blue shaded area here covers 68%. So the probability of falling within one standard deviation of the mean within here is equal to 68%. Within two standard deviations from mu minus two sigma to mu plus two sigma is 95%. 95% of the times you will fall within two standard deviations of the mean. And three standard deviations is 99.7%. To actually find probabilities for the normal distribution, go to the find probability tab. Let's use an example from chapter five and chapter six in the textbook where we look at the talk time of cell phones. Suppose the talk time of cell phones, how long you can stay on the phone continuously and just talk and talk and talk before the battery die. Suppose that distribution follows a normal distribution with a mean of 330 minutes and a standard deviation of 80 minutes. And so we get a normal distribution with a mean of 330 and a standard deviation of 80 in like this picture. Now I could ask you, what is the probability of the talk time being less than 330 that's exactly the mean, and you should have guessed that that probability is 50% by symmetry. I could have even asked you what is the probability of being below of having a talk time that is less than 250 minutes, and what I just told you before, you should have been able to guess that is roughly 16%. Remember, we have 68% of within one standard deviation, and why 250? Note that 330, the mean minus one standard deviation, if minus 80 is exactly 250. So within one standard deviation, we have 68%. That leaves 32% of the outside. 32 divided by two is 16. So roughly 16 for either side. So it's not surprising that this percentage is roughly equal to 16%. However, suppose you want to figure out what's the probability of a talk time less than 230 minutes. And for this, you need the app to figure out the probability. And it's shown here, the probability of being less than 230 is equal to 10.6%. Uh, this is the area under the curve here. Uh, if you want to find upper tail probabilities, suppose you want to figure out the probability of a talk time 
larger than, let's say, 450 minutes, then you just type in 450 for the value of x on the x-axis, and you get that the probability is 6.7%. The probability of having a talk time that is larger than 450 minutes is 6.7%. You can even get interval probabilities. Suppose you're interested in the probability of the talk time falling in between, let's say 180 minutes and 420 minutes. And we find that that probability is equal to, between 180 and 420, is equal to 83.9%. Now suppose your friend comes along and says, I wanna know what the talk time of a phone is that is in the top 5%. Well, then he's asking for the percentile of the distribution, in particular, the 95th percentile. So to figure out what the 95th percentile is, go to the Find Percentile tab. You still have the same mean and standard deviation. And we look at the probability of 95% in the lower tail, and then we get actually our percentile of 462. So the 95th percentile is 462. You could have gone to the upper tail, find the percent of the upper tail and say, put 5% in the upper tail, and then we get the exact same answer. If you were uh, curious what the 80th percentile is, that means 20% in the upper tail, well, the 80th percentile is 300, 397.3. 80% of observations are below it, 20% are above it. So this is how you find probabilities or percentiles using the normal distribution. I encourage you to play around. And uh, thank you for watching.